Hi viewers, in this video we are presenting JO purpose frauds for the purpose of auditing point of view. The third one is manipulation of accounts in the fraud section. So this type of fraud is committed by upper level of management with a different objectives to mislead certain parties within or outside the business. Whenever such fraud is committed is usually involves large amount and is intention. This type of fraud is usually committed by managers, directors, board of directors. Usually falsification of accounts is done without misappropriation of cash or goods by making false entries in respect of expenses, sales, purchases, valuation of stock, etc. The business accounts are falsified which may not result in similar misappropriations. Mainly two types of motives are behind such manipulation. First one is showing low profits than the actual loans. In this type of we have three types of manipulations. That is first one is to give a wrong impression about success of the business to competitors. And second one is to reduce or avoid payment of income tax. And third one is to purchase shares at a lower price in the market. And second one is showing more profits than what actually they are. In this type, they are trying to manipulate seven types. First one is the manager may get more commission if such commission is calculated on the basis of profits earned. And second one, to sell the shares at a high price by declaring higher dividends, this is done when such person holds shares of the company. Third one, the services of such persons may be retained by showing more profits to the shareholders, thereby the confidence of shareholder is maintained. Fourth one is the to mislead financial institutions for obtaining further credit the financial position of the business is shown better than what actually it is. Fifth one, when the company is in the process of issuing shares to the public to attract more subscribers for such shares. Sixth one, it may be done to show credit worthiness to creditors, bankers, etc. In seventh one, high profits may be shown than what actually are to declare inflated rate of dividend. So, false, falsification of accounts may be resorted by using following devices. First one is purchases or expenses may be inflated or suppressed. Second one is sales or other incomes may be inflated or suppressed. Third one is stocks may be over or undervalued. Fourth one omission of adjustments of expenses outstanding or prepaid expenses. Fifth one depreciation on asset may be over or under charged or omitted altogether. Sixth one, assets or liabilities may be over or undervalued. Seventh one, treating capital expenditure as revenue expenditure or vice versa. Eighth one, secret reserves may be created to deflate the profits or secret reserves of previous years may be used to inflate the profits without the knowledge of shareholders. 
नाइन्थ वन आउटस्टैंडिंग एक्सपेंसिस ऑफ करेंट ईयर और प्रीपेड इनकम्स ऑफ प्रीवियस ईयर मे नॉट बी एडजस्टेड टू इंक्रीज द प्रॉफिट्स टेंथ वन आउटस्टैंडिंग एक्सपेंसिस ऑफ द प्रीवियस ईयर और प्रीपेड इनकम्स ऑफ करेंट ईयर मे नॉट बी एडजस्टेड टू इनफ्लेट प्रॉफिट्स ऑफ द करेंट ईयर इलेवेंथ वन विंडो ड्रेसिंग सो दिस इज द मेन इंपॉर्टेंट द फाइनेंशियल पोजिशन ऑफ द बिजनेस इज शोन इन सच ए वे दट इट सीम्स बेटर दैन वाट एक्चुअली इट इज विंडो ड्रेसिंग इज मोर ऑफ मिस रिप्रजेंटेशन दैन फ्रॉड इट मे बी डन इन एनी ऑफ द फॉलोइंग वेज ए purchases of current year may be shown as of next year b income of the preceding year may be shown as of the current year c expenses of current year may be shown as of next year d showing short term liabilities as long term liabilities e charging revenue expenses as capital expenditure f overvaluation of closing stock g overvaluation of assets or undervaluation of liabilities these are totally window dressing so window dressing point of view one or two points are asked in the examination and also the question frame will like what is the fraud of this type of over or under valuation like that all the best